And then, of course, there was Trump, uh, who uses the word liar in accusing anyone, the networks, the media, professors, journalists, whoever it is, all the time. Liar, liar, liar. I mean, that became central to the way he communicated. So that's changed, perhaps, uh, from the time when the use of that word was something which was rare to, 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 to the politics of, say, someone like Donald Trump. Yeah, there's no question about that. Um, this book was uh, written in 2011 or published in 2011, and that was obvious. Uh, Donald Trump became the and uh, people often ask me, uh, what do I have to say about Donald Trump? Is that remember that uh, to tell a lie means that you know that what you are saying is false. And I think that Donald Trump during his presidency made many thousands of false statements. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, were those lies? I think they were not lies because he actually believed what he was saying. I believe that Donald Trump was delusional, right? He would say things that everybody, virtually everybody knew uh, were not true. And they would accuse him of lying, but again, Trump actually believed what he said. So again, the word I would use to describe him is delusional, which one could argue is worse than being a liar, especially if you're the president of the United States. The second but, thing I would, go ahead. No, but how would you compare that with, uh, with George Bush? Um, would you say that, I mean, he wasn't delusional uh, or perhaps not, not certainly not in the same sense as, as Donald Trump, but the lies which in, which, which enabled the, the invasion of Iraq to take place, was it a self-fulfilling prophecy which went on and on, one set of lies which went on and on? Or do you believe that, that he actually um, didn't think those were lies at all? I think there's no question, as I document in the book, that the Bush administration, to include President Bush himself, told four major lies about the Iraq war. And I'm certain that Kerry understood that they told lies. But in the context of running for the presidency in 2004 against George W. Bush, Kerry was reluctant to use the term liar to describe Bush. And I believe that the reason he didn't use it is that it's such a strong term, it's so condemning, that it probably, he thought, would have hurt him politically to accuse uh, George W. Bush of such a sin, so to speak. So a fundamental difference between the lies that Bush told and let's call them lies that Trump told. Uh, the fact is that Bush did not lie much and therefore his lies when he told them were very effective because people expected him to tell the truth. And therefore, it was easy for President Bush to fool the American people because he was not someone who lied all the time. President Trump, and we're assuming here he was telling lies, he lied so often that it had no effect. Anytime President Trump said X, people would go check whether what X was whether X was true or not. So his lies had very little effect. In Bush's case, his lies were strategic lies. They were used, and I'm talking more about the Bush administration than the president himself, although he participated, but it included Rumsfeld, Colin Powell, and so forth and so on. They said things that simply were not true. And this did help us, as you're alluding to, get us into the Iraq war. And in fact, what was going on here is that the Bush administration was having a very difficult time selling the war to the American people. And the only way they could sell the war and get us involved was tell a handful of lies about Iraqi weapons of mass destruction, about the relationship between Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein, and then convince the American people that we should actually fight this unnecessary war. 
And of course, what happened was they succeeded in making the case to the American people that a war was justified, but it was based in good part on a series of lies. We have no analogous case with Trump. Trump was just lying all the time, or he was delusional all the time, and his lies had no effect because people recognized them as lies and went about their business.